with the people next door. Here's Deborah Roberts. Yeah, time for a ride. In the quiet of Midlothian, Virginia, a lone pig is making noise and news. We have breaking news surrounding the fate of Tucker the pet pig. <laughs> Tucker the pig is the pork that's pulling this community apart. On one side of the aisle, Tucker's supporters. While on the other, angry residents who don't want to see their town turned into a pigsty. Is a pig really a pet? What does he do? He does everything a dog would do. Just like a dog. Kim Johnson's allergies wouldn't allow for a family dog. So she and husband Mark did some research on alternative pets. Which is how Tucker got his pig's feet in the front door. Tucker's treated like royalty. Taking a drive, dining on fruit and grains, and getting his beauty sleep. Since it's been cold, he'll sit by the fire. Pig sleeps 16 to 18 hours a day. I don't smell anything that indicates there's a pig in the house. Do you work overtime to try to keep him clean? He usually gets bathed every two weeks or so. And then I do usually put lotion on him because pigs do get dry skin. Tucker's willing to play the ham, posing for pigs in costume, and playing with kids of all ages. Everyone loved Tucker, until the day someone didn't. <laughs> when did this happy-go-lucky story take a dark turn? Code officer had come to our house, and she's like, well, someone has called in a complaint. And then I had 10 days to get rid of him. 10 days? 10 days. <laughs> a neighbor's complaint highlighted the fact that the Johnson's property was not zoned for livestock. So they attempted to get a conditional use permit to redefine their property as a stock farm. The opposition cried foul. They're worried about setting precedents. If they give us a special permit, that what is next? Elephants, ostriches, zebras? Midlothian has a reputation as one of the best places to live in America. And some locals fear they may soon find themselves living near a designated farm. Uh, they uh, suggested that we should move. And how nasty have that been? They've gotten pretty bad. They've gotten, you know, to the point that I guess we can call it bullying. This winter has not been kind to pig owners. A woman and her pot belly Hobie were thrown off a U.S. Airways flight after the pig caused a ruckus pre-takeoff. And in Arkansas... I feel like I've been witch-hunted. Jill Latham's pet pig, Suey, has become a pet peeve for some of her neighbors. Though she researched and found her Vietnamese pot belly was considered an acceptable pet in Little Rock, some in the community began complaining. Like Suey was making too big of a mess in Jill's backyard and posing a hazard to local property values. She, at one time, got a petition and was going to get the neighbors to sign it so she could keep the pig. No one signed the petition. Nobody. To Jill's dismay, the fight went all the way to the city council. I am the reason we are wasting our time in a city board meeting talking about a potbelly pig. The council's reading of the laws? Yes, you can have a pet pig in Little Rock, but you'll need a 300-foot buffer of land between you and your neighbors. Jill does not. She was given 30 days to say so long to Suey. Facing eviction, Suey is now suing because Jill has decided to head to federal court. I'm not willing to back down. The pet is a part of my family. Well, back in Virginia, the Johnsons are waging their own battle at a meeting of county supervisors. And lots of folks have something to say about it. I believe it's going to be very difficult to grant this request for conditional use permit and then in the future to deny someone else's. Please give our community closure, and please deny this appeal. When Mark Johnson gets up to speak, he makes a difficult admission. I am a man with a psychological disability. A disability triggered by tragedy. I had my 17-month-old son pass away, take his last breaths in my arms. That was a very tragic event for every member of my family. And having pets can help teach different coping mechanisms. Mark says the entire family has been comforted by Tucker, though he's the one who needs him most. So how does Tucker help you emotionally? He relaxes me. He knows when I'm stressed. He'll come over me. He consoles me. 
Sympathy from a swine? It's not as strange as it may sound. <laughs> in fact, back in Arkansas, Jill Latham swears her beloved Suey has helped her in struggles with depression. <laughs> and Mark takes this seriously enough that he recently certified Tucker as an emotional support animal. Though critics find the timing a bit suspicious. <laughs> Now, the city emotional support animal. Has this emotional disability conveniently been diagnosed in the last 30 days? Is that just a ploy to keep Tucker? It's not a ploy. And there's no reason that he can't be a good pet for our family. That will be up to the county supervisors who are expected to rule in a few weeks. But the Johnsons say their neighbors best get used to the new kid <laughs> on the block. Get a belly rub. You're not going to get rid of Tucker. We are not going to get rid of Tucker. My advice to everyone involved, pigs are smart. Be smart. Take a lesson from the pig. This did not have to become a war.